Hey everybody, my name is Artindi, and I'm the guy who makes that How to Fail at Indie Game Development series. It's just a silly, sarcastic series that kind of teaches you about game design. But this video is not sarcastic. I want it to be a little bit more serious, and it's aimed for the people who want to make video games, but don't know how to code. Or if you're someone who just wants to improve your coding skills, this video is for you. Just recently I made an episode of my How to Fail at Indie Game Development series where I talked about how to fail at code. And when I covered learning about coding, I think the sarcasm might have confused a few people. So in this video, I want to share what I believe is the best way to learn how to code, just without the sarcasm, so that those who want to learn more about coding, don't have to read between the lines. From what I've seen when it comes to game development, the hardest skill to master, or at least acquire and use, is coding. The code in a video game is like the bread and butter. In my opinion, it's significantly harder to find someone who truly understands your vision and is reliable enough to stick around for the entire process, especially if you can't pay them much up front. And let's be honest, AI is still pretty far out before it'd be able to make a game fully. Like, it's a helpful tool for coding, it's definitely helpful, but it's got a long ways to go. Now, I've tried just about every method of learning how to code, except for like the matrix method, you know, where they just like download it straight into your brain. Oh, no. Coding. Show me. So that one aside, I've gone to college pursuing a computer science degree. I've learned coding from free online tutorials, which are great because they're free. And I've used paid online courses from multiple sites. The method that I've found to be most useful is paid online courses. Online courses are dramatically cheaper than college and you have way more freedom. You're not stuck committing a semester to go at the same speed as all the other students. You can progress at your own pace, fitting around your other commitments. And paid online courses offer the structure that free YouTube videos often lack. So in my opinion, using paid online courses is the best way to learn how to code, because you get the best of both worlds. Even though I have a solid foundation in coding, I've always felt like I lacked knowledge in certain areas, especially in object-oriented programming, which is, I know it's like a really basic concept in coding, but implementing it is a little different from understanding it, alright, in, in my defense. So I've been taking the Python class from a site called Zero to Mastery, partly because it covers the area that I feel like I'm weak in, but also because Python is very similar to GDescript, the programming language used in Godot, the game engine that I work with. So if you want to learn how to code, I recommend utilizing paid-for online courses, and out of all the ones I've used, I like Zero to Mastery the best. There's links in the description if you're interested, but here are a few reasons why I think Zero to Mastery is one of the best sites for online coding courses out there. One, they have a dedicated Discord community with channels for every single course, including ones for job hunting, interview prep, and more. You can get help from teaching assistants and the instructors who make the courses that you're following, and from peers as well, all happy to answer questions. It's better than most college environments because it's right at your fingertips in a format that you're probably already familiar with. They also encourage finding study groups or partners through Discord because it will help you stay on track and potentially even make friends. Two, not only can you learn to code, but you can also get guidance towards a career in coding. This includes certificates for your resume or LinkedIn, if anybody even uses that anymore, help with job interviews, projects to build a portfolio, and experience needed to land a job in tech if you want to take it that far. Three, unlike many other online courses, Zero to Mastery gives you access to every single course and project on their site. They also update the content regularly to keep it current. Four, they have a streak system and badges, which are great for people like me who have a little bit of ADHD and appreciate that extra bit of positive reinforcement while learning. Now, I'm not going to tell you what you should do, but if you are interested in learning how to code, at least check out Zero to Mastery. And full disclosure, if you were to sign up after clicking on one of the links in the description, I would get a small kickback from that. So in a way, it would support me a little, but that's not why I made this video. I honestly think it's just a great way to learn how to code, and I wanted to let people know about it. I mean, there's a program called Aceprite, it's a pixel art tool that I use. They should be giving me money, because I've probably single-handedly sold a few hundred copies of that at least, just because I believe it's a really great program. And just like Aceprite, I believe Zero to Mastery is also a great tool, especially for someone who wants to become a game developer. It's what I'm using, and I love it. So if you're interested, go check it out. And once you learn how to code, come back and watch my other videos. I'll teach you all about game design, totally for free, if you can see past the sarcasm.